yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a strange old year um, for obvious reasons. But when I first started it in May, it was um, you know strange having three weeks uh, before any meeting any of the members really. Um, never had that before. Um, so yeah, that was that was quite strange. Um, but meeting the team um, and progressing on. So when I first came in, we had sort of the four boys that had been here with a good bit of experience. Um, so yeah, it was just really figuring out and seeing what we were going to we we're going to push on with and what we could do with, with what we had resources and available to us. Yeah, well, yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there. It, it's been really challenging. Um, we're lucky here at Pollock that, that the course drains extremely well. They've invested in a lot of drainage over the years and also, you know, the soil profiles are great. Um, but yeah, I mean, on four occasions we had snow. Um, we've had a lot of rain on top of that. Um, challenging, but we, we've got there, the boys have been really good. Um, we, we've done a couple, a few winter projects. Uh, we, we changed the fourth tee, um, the position of the, the white tee there. So just re-angled it, um, the same down at the seventh. But that came with challenges of, of ground conditions. At times we had to just leave it. Um, we're probably running, I would have said, about four to six weeks behind. And even getting these turfed on, on this side of the, the, the year, um, the turf was delayed down south because, again, they had snow. So, yeah, it's been a real challenge. Um, all of it's been done in-house. We're quite lucky that we've got an experienced team that, that can undertake these things. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think everybody asks you, you know, what's your favourite time of year? And I've got to say, for me, it's spring. Certainly after the winter we've just had, I'll say spring. Um, but, yeah, we've, we've been quite busy. We've, we've been out microtining. We've just got a, a slight organic matter problem. Um, so we've just been removing some of that and trying to get some uh, sand into the profile. Help, uh, you know, dilute that organic matter. Also bring the surfaces on out of a long winter. Um, we're just about to start overseeding. Hopefully if we can get, you know, some temperature into the soil. Um, we'll use the Dyna seeders and, and overseed the uh, bent uh, grass seed. Um, so, yeah, we're just trying to, to bring the bent uh, species up and, and you know, push out the poor, um, and that's what we're looking to do. Yeah, well, we've been quite lucky because over the winter there, we, we invested in a, a, a new package, a machinery package, so we're now running with Baroness uh, through Hamilton Brothers. So, as staff, we're all excited to get them out and, and get using them after, you know, the, the course has dried off pretty well in the last few days. So, I think our first the um, medal is next Saturday, a week in Saturday. So yeah, we're looking forward to this week. We'll just tie up some winter work, uh, and next week we'll be out with the new machinery, you know, and, and going across everything from tees right through, um, and then just waiting for a wee bit more growth um, to really sort of reduce the heights of greens. But we're sitting about six and a half mil at the minute, so we'll, we want to reduce that down. We normally go down to about four. We can probably push slightly lower than that, just depending on the weather. Um, but yeah, it really just trying to push and get the presentation up for, for the return of the, the golf season. Yeah, no, again, it's, it's been great. I'm all about, you know, team. Um, I think that's important. I can't, I can't do it myself. So without these guys, you know, pushing forward, then we'd, we'd be sort of lost. But I've got to say, we've got quite a lot of experience throughout the team. Uh, my deputy, Mark, he's uh, 27 years here. So, you know, that's, you just can't buy that sort of experience. It's, it's fantastic. Um, a lot of the work that we've done over the winter, with the experience of the guys in particular, one of the boys, you know, he, he's been in construction of golf courses previously all around the world. So being able to just get an excavator in and, and have have him work it, you know, and, and then we can take the, the, you know, look at how things are progressing, how the tees come in and, you know, it's, it's it just gives the boys a real boost to see that they're actually adding to the value of the golf course at Pollock. I think that's important. Um, you know, on a daily basis, these guys are really pushing after, again, what we've said has been a difficult winter. Um, you know, and we're looking forward now to spring and, and pushing on and, and presenting the golf course at, at its best.